So for as long as I have traded with Apex, uh, I think I started with them in September, I never knew there was a freaking mandatory stop loss. Who, who, who among us knew this? <laughs> Uh, and for the first time ever, I'm actually in doubt that I might receive a payout from them on this go-round, which is incredibly unfortunate. Uh, who reads contract agreements? Come on. <laughs> P&L recap, coming up. So I did not get in, uh, well, it's it's 4.08 p.m. And uh, Quan Tower is closed now. The market is completely closed now. But I did grab a screenshot from what I was able to accomplish last night in the Asian session. The Asian session. <laughs> uh, so things have changed a little bit in, in market conditions when the Asian open happens. And uh, I have gone from short almost every freaking time to waiting and then going long. Uh, last night, this first, and remember, these this is a tick chart, so these candles happen in a flash, right? Um, I normally go short right here. Had I done so, uh, I would have hit my profit target and been taken out of the trade. I don't have confidence <laughs> In going short for what the market has been dishing out here recently. Uh, I have been patient. I've waited and gone long. Now, the caveat to this is, in the Asian session, I always uh, consistently use five contracts. Um, for the first couple of trades, anyway. Once I build up a cushion, then I'd scale down and use one. Um, this buy order right here, had it set for five, it clicks me in for one, and then it pushes immediately up, right? And I'm like, well, dang it, it didn't take all five of them. And then as it drops back down, because it hadn't hit my take profit yet, it drops back down, and I take those four off, because now I'm not confident that it is going to continue to push up, right? But it does, pushes back up. And I'm able to sell that one contract. That wasn't eight ticks. I pushed this up. Uh, I don't even remember how many ticks it was. It, that, that was a $60 trade, I believe, for one contract. That's awesome for me for one contract. I will take that all the time. That is great. Uh, so then I come back. We're not done yet. I come back with five. Five contracts. It pushes up to my take profit. I get three off. I get the fourth one off, and then I get the fifth one off. So right here, I am up three, three, uh, three seventeen, I think. <laughs> something, something. Uh, actually, it says three twenty one. Three twenty one is what I was. And then I leave the market alone for a little bit. I come back, and this right here is what I was anticipating happening the other day, where it just kind of waterfalls and cascades down, right? With speed, with momentum, okay? So I hop in with one contract, pushes back up just a little bit. It's not going anywhere, right? It's in this uh, resistance zone. Uh, and then it waterfalls off and I added another $90. That was one, that was one contract. Uh, for ninety dollars, so my Asian session, I end up four oh seven to the good. That is a fan freaking tastic uh, night for me. So in the course of uh, two hours and thirty eight minutes, I pocket four hundred seven dollars. That's that's phenomenal. I will take that all night long, right? Um, you fast forward until <laughs> this morning, and this is where this is what worries me. And I preface this by saying, out of the past 10 days, there has only been four, four days where I had losers. And 
right? So I, I started off, I can't remember the first one. I've documented the, the last two, starting off my, my day negative 500 and the other day negative 1300. That sucked. That took me some doing to come back to put plus 25 on the board like all day long, right? Um, and I, I said Quan Tower was closed earlier, so I can't, it doesn't have the plots where I bought and sold. So I am, uh, I am unaware. <laughs> yes, I logged into Apex, and yes, I signed the little agreement last night. I didn't read it. <laughs> it was just another pop-up to me, right? I know ignorance is, is no excuse, but I didn't freaking know. Um... So I am in Matt's chat, or Matt's stream, listening to him uh, talk about all of this Apex stuff that's going on, and I'm really half-heartedly paying attention to my own trade, which is dumb. Uh, but I get in long right here, like literally right here. And then this dump happens, this washout happens, and at the bottom of this washout... I was not happy. <laughs> I was not happy with myself because I went from up 407 and at the bottom down there, I was, I was negative um, 1200 in that trade, which would have put me negative 800 or so on my day, which sucks. That's terrible. That's one contract running against you, running wild for yeah, that'll do it. And 80 points. 80 points in the wrong direction, that'll that'll definitely get you cooked. Um, I didn't sell it. I hung on. I got out over here for my take profit. Uh, 10, 10 ticks or 8 ticks. I can't remember how many it was, but we pocketed that. Um, I'm trying to remember because now, now the, the trades are not on the board. I think I took this right here for 10 ticks and and another one right in here maybe for 10 ticks. And that was it. That was it. That was that was my day. And um Yeah, I've I've not used a stop loss in months and months and months. And now that stop loss is is actually an issue, it's going to completely kind of change how I trade because not that I necessarily want to hold through this because that's really painful and really stupid, right? I mean, I, I, I get it. That's not good trading. That is horrible trading. That is hold and hope. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, I did. I, got in a bad trade and I just hang held on to it until it came back and got me out. That's not smart. Right? Um and I have a feeling of apexes are wanting to eradicate people being able to hang on to this trade for negative twelve hundred dollars and pocket seventy. Um do they want good traders? Sure. Would they want me to lose twelve hundred dollars? Probably also sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i guess like in this chop in this range trades right here i guess i am really going to have to be stricter on myself to only buy in the bottom third of the range right because if i put a 10 tick take profit and it has to be a three to one well that is a 30 tick stop that's like uh eight eight and a half points, I think, which is, you know, it's enough to hurt. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm mean, really going to have to completely rethink how I, how I trade really, um, which sucks because I've done pretty dang good, uh, throughout this past 10 days, which brings me to this, uh, six, 16, 22 on the day. Uh, this is day number 10. In 43 minutes, I get to request a payout. Um, $2,066 on the week. Uh, 8410 days is pretty freaking stellar for this guy. Um, I really hope they don't deny that payout. I, 
honestly, I'll be quite honest, kind of kind of need it a little bit. So, shouldn't say that. I was counting on it, right? You're Yeah. Um I really have to be more stringent with the uh with how I do things. Uh Yeah, because 30 30 ticks isn't a, a eight Eight points on the NASDAQ is not a lot. That's not a lot of room. Right? There's 13 There's thirteen from here to here. <laughs> so, 85 to, yeah, to 72 of 12. It's 12 points. So, really will not have to buy... Um, the the breaks the break even though this was beautiful that was perfect and this over here was was anyway yeah not happy with having to redo how I've been doing things because I I I was actually doing really good so um that is all I have for now and as always I appreciate you all tuning in and I will catch you next time take care oh oh and for the people who have used my code, um, a true heartfelt thank you. You guys have no idea what that means to me to see that light up on the email and to see that light up on the screen. Uh, that actually really truly makes me happier than making $612. Not because it's even remotely close, but just the, the thought and the sentiment behind it means that somebody thought enough about me to actually key in my code and send me a few dollars. And that is phenomenal to me. I truly appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, I will catch you all next time. Take care.